Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I solo joined a fully populated Washington server and we're going to do a very intense live raid against the group. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes and subscribe if you haven't already. There's also a double mythical giveaway happening where I'll be giving away a confetti equalizer maple strike and an electric demo scaler. To enter this giveaway, the link will be in the description below and without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I'm rejoining the same server that I was on uh, yesterday, I think, and I'm pretty sure my base got raided, but I do have my vault where I have some raiding gear inside, so that's pretty good, I didn't really lose anything. Now, there are some people on the server, there's a villain and there, there's a couple of other players. Uh, I do have some loot on me, I have myself a saber too, it's a heartbreaker, pretty much everything that I need in order to get myself some PvP and maybe some loot. I did log off over here, and I'm gonna go to military, I'm probably gonna try to get a 7x scope from this place over here, just for the saber too. if I do, then that's gonna be really, really good. I got myself a 7x scope as well. Perfect. Now I could put the blowtorch in vault because I think that's a bit more important than a steely. Because with that I can make lockers and wire in order to make more charges. Now as always what I'm going to do is I'm gonna run around the map. Maybe I'll get myself some live raids. The server is pretty high loot but there is base health. So if, even if we do find the raid then we're gonna have to get ourselves more than normal. So I'm pretty sure if we're gonna try to raid the metal wall. I think we need like 5 charges and actually in order to go through rather than 3. So it's still a bit of a grind. I'm gonna head over to military. Maybe we get ourselves some PvP from there. Or maybe there's a mega zombie as well. Yeah, there are actually people here. I hear peacemaker shots. I think, yeah, there's one right guy right over there. Now, this new update, I think you don't even see how many people are in the same group. So, I don't know if it's a duo. I don't know if it's a, a five-man team. So, we gotta be careful. Looks like there's just two guys, though. I killed one. I hit him. And I am out of saber to tema. Okay. I'm gonna try to go around with the heartbreaker. I did kill one and uh, there's like a TPA combat where you can't TP when you're in... PvP, so he can't TP literally instantly. He's right over there. And he's dead. I think that's the exact same guy that I've killed though, so he must have came back. Hopefully his body doesn't know where I am actually. I, he should be somewhere around here, I am not sure. Probably hiding behind the tree. Come on, where are you man? Where are you hiding at? My oh, zombies are moving there. I don't think he's a melee. Could be up on the tower actually. Oh no, he's right over here. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's it. Wait, there we go. <laughs> Alright, and okay. Uh, another fully decked out saber tooth. We got night vision as well. That's kind of what we needed. Then he had an ego fire. Alright. Nothing that good, but I guess night vision is kind of what we need, especially since it's getting dark. And we did got ourselves some more saber tooth ammo. And at the end of the day, we did kill a duo, so that's that's pretty good. Wait, is that a guy up there? Yeah, it is. Alright, he's dead. Let's go. He just got lasered. I don't think he even realized that I was I saw him. There's another guy over here. He's dead as well. He didn't have anything though. Let's go check out what loot this guy has up here. He seemed like he had military clothing, so hopefully he's not another naked. And okay, well, Shadow Stalker. Shadow Stalker, Viper, and some rails. I'm gonna take the Shadow Stalker. Oh, well, there are more people in here. We're shooting Peacemaker. Oh yeah, zombies are gonna chase them. I'm gonna take it as an opportunity to know exactly where they are. Oh, he's dead. Let's kill the zombie. Oh wait, there's another guy. And I just I just got killed by a viper. Alright, well like I spawned close, so I'm gonna try to get an eagle fire from here and then I'm gonna go try to kill them. Alright, got them both. I think that was the same guys that I killed up on the hill by the way. I don't know how they came back so quick. Alright, let's just take all of our loot and leave. Yeah, everything should still be here. So I'm pretty much running around the map. I'm gonna go to military next. Honestly, I'm just trying to find PvP. And I was hoping for a mega zombie because if it's a mega zombie and these kind of servers, we're gonna get a lot of raiding gear just from that one that one mega. But we didn't get any. So I'm gonna go to military and hope for one over there. There's a guy up here. Wait, he should be so low. He's running away. Yeah, all right, he's dead. I just literally jumped straight on him. All right, I'm gonna go up and med. I don't know if there's any more people actually. Alright, let's kill these zombies, and let's go check out what loot this guy had. Okay, well, a bunch of high cal, three high cal boxes, a bunch of metal. Alright, a lot of metal always means that he's either building a base, or making slockers or something. Problem is, I'm actually full of loot. I'm gonna switch to his heartbreaker as well, it has much more attachments, and there's a drum as well. Probably gonna try to build a base very soon, actually, because I am literally full of loot. Some loot on the floor here, and there's nothing that crazy, though. Alright, so, all of that high caliber, I'm just gonna fill it up inside the dragon fang box. We'll put it right over there, and I am going to to strip the heartbreaker, drop it, put a cross scope on it. Alright, yeah, perfect. There's a lot of shots happening once again. Now the problem is there's rain and I can't actually see anything. It sounds like two people fighting with a heartbreaker. I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe actually see them and maybe I could snipe them with the saber or shadow. Oh yeah, I'm getting shot at. I'm getting shot at by a meta, I have no idea. From where? Do I even have meds? Oh, I have tablet. Oh, I'm probably going to die then. Oh, wait, hello there. Is this meta guy? No, that's a saber tooth. Oh, well, it looks like... There are some more people somewhere, I have no idea where. 
There's a guy back there. Uh, he's dead as well. Second guy dead. Let's check out what loot he had. Oh, same same saber. Okay, well, I think he was naked then. There's a guy back there. He's dead. Another guy. Dead as well. Is this the Metamorris guy? Yes, we found him. Okay. So Morris will take that. Some ammo. Nightcarav. Thief clothes. I'll actually wear those. Uh, let's check out what this guy over here had as well. This could be the Heartbreaker guy that we heard earlier. Yeah, probably is. Uh, Zubex. Bunch of rock explosives. We'll take those. I actually don't have space to take anything else. I'm gonna drop these. I don't need them. And I will take a Zubex. Actually, take the one with the 7x. Another guy dead up there. And does he have anything? There's another guy. What the hell? as well a peacemaker this time okay i'm pretty sure they're the same people that i've killed then and then they just came back so i did manage to run away it sounded like there were a bunch of more people and i really didn't want to stay to be honest even if i do kill them i don't i don't have any space to put their loot so it was not worth to stay so i am going to make a locker probably and just place it wherever i want and just put some extra guns and then i'll go check it out i'll go back to military and we'll get ourselves into more pvp so guy right over there dead and uh grenade and leathers all right so this base i actually was here like yesterday i think they got raided if they didn't i would have raided them but yeah a guy told me that they even got banned or something i really don't know what happened but yeah they definitely did get raided all right so i had actually made the locker underwater and i'm just gonna place literally all of the loot that i don't want to lose all right so this base wasn't here like 20 minutes ago obviously i'm going to raid it uh based health so hopefully i do have enough all right first box i'm out it's literally just a one by one method can it break Right, and we are true. Yeah, this is a live base. There's literally loot on the floor. Let's put the dragon thing back in there and let's destroy it the beds. It's a duo, so probably it was a duo that we've killed. I'm gonna make sure that there's actually nobody coming around. And I don't even have enough ammo to actually break all of the wardrobes, so I might actually have enough to break one. But I don't have enough to break all of them, for sure. All right, I'm gonna break just one, I guess. All right, and three heartbreakers, yeah. Well, that was definitely not profit. I probably ordered for me to make charges. I just need to get myself some glow. So I'll run to Seattle, got myself like two glow, come back, craft two charges, and it should break all of them. I think that sounds like a good plan. All right, got myself two charges. We're gonna go back. And I am dead. Well, I am back and they actually did fix the base. So all of that dragon fang ammo that I put was all for nothing. And I do have three charges, but it probably won't be enough. I'm just gonna blow them up. Maybe eventually it will scare them or something. I don't really care. I've got nothing to lose. Can't even go there. Oh, he should be so low, man. Hello? Okay, and I couldn't go through. All right, well, at least we've got this guy's loot. Let me vote the detonator back. Get ourselves a heartbreaker. Let's pick up all of the ammo. Let's med up. Let's get back to 100 HP. Maybe I have enough shots actually to break it. I had like 20 shots in my dead dragon thing. Probably might not be enough, but it's worth a try. Yeah, I didn't have enough. Never mind. He's dead. He's dead as well. Okay. Oh. And the third guy came. It's not he, He's not even with them. He's just another guy. These guys aren't stupid, actually. They salvaged Roof in order to push me. They're tryhards, man. That's exactly what I do when I want to defend my base. All right, we actually found ourselves a good challenge. These guys aren't stupid. They're not that good in PvP, but they are smart. All right, back. He's dead. And the problem with the server is that there's instant home. I think they killed that guy as well that killed me. Let's pick up all of the load. It's not that much, actually. Let's take the Heartbreaker. This one has more attachment. I think this was mine, actually. All right, I'm gonna salvage. I'm gonna try to get plates. Now he's back out. He's dead. All right, so he had an umbrella, so that's actually really good. I'm gonna try to make as much plates as possible so that maybe we can jump off from here because we are a bit on a higher ground than where their base is. Now it's claimed, obviously. And we're literally right on the edge of the claim flag. Right, I only have four plates, but it might actually be enough for me to get on with the umbrella. Now he's out. He probably saw me build, so now he definitely knows that I'm up here. What the hell is he doing? Okay, well, he's actually a tryhard. He's, he's trying to do that, like, quick peek or whatever he's doing. I really don't know. Is he trying to go around me? Bro, I see you. He's dead. All right, there we go. I play oh, he salvaged the roof again. Right, I'm not gonna peek, though. Like, if I peek, I'm just gonna get lasered for sure. All right, well, they're both camping me out. One of them's up and one of them is behind. All right, one of them is dead. And he has a maple strike. And he is dead as well. All right, let's mud up really quickly. But home is literally instant, so they're already there. And he's dead again. I don't have that much meds, man. And he's dead. And there's that guy back there. All right, let's go. All 
He's dead as well. Oh, I have no ammo. Okay, let's fill up. We get ourselves a full drum. Let's go. All right, let's hotkey the umbrella. And I fell off. All right, he's dead again. Bro, I'm destroying them right now, actually. Wait, what are they doing? They haven't come out in a while. Probably just camping inside. Oh, yeah, one of them is off. Pretty sure they're trying to bait one of each other. All right, one of them is dead. Oh, he plays the roof again. All right, that's actually good because I can pick up all of this loot over here. Bunch of ammo, a bunch of meds. Yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. He's dead. Right, I accidentally made the metal into splints. I could have made more plates. I hit him. Right, he's dead. Now there's some peacemaker shot. He's dead again. He's dead. Yeah, I'm actually destroying this duo. Maybe now it's cha maybe now it's time for me to actually try to get up there. Even if I get on the roof. Alright, uh, yeah, here we are. Oh. Alright, there we go. Oh, Alright, I killed them both. Wait, is that the claim flag? Oh no, that's just a plate. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm gonna take the maple strike, obviously. Now, the problem is I can't fall in because I might be stuck. If it though, I could probably just place a plate. I should actually take the roof and take this base as mine. Alright, let's put the roof up there. And now if I want to come back, I can just salvage it. And they wouldn't even know. Alright, let's place that. Alright, let's see what loot there is else around here that they run out with. There's a bunch of ammo. There's a bunch of guns over here. Another heartbreaker. Another heartbreaker. Okay, well, I need to get myself raiding gear because I don't have any. I kind of destroyed this duel, man. Alright, we'll put a plate over here just in case they come back and they put another claim flag. There we go. Another heartbreaker, a bunch of ammo. Oh, wait, what? He's dead. Was it the same guy? Nah, <laughs> nice try, bro. Oh, this guy almost killed me, actually. Ah, well, I need to get myself the glue. And I'm getting shot at once again. I have absolutely no idea from where. Literally, the whole server is over here, man. I'm gonna try to run away for now. Oh, there's a dragon thing in here. Okay. Well, I did not expect that. My dragon thing is empty, and it's inside those lockers that I placed. So we got ourselves a full dragon thing. That's pretty good, actually. A grenade as well. Perfect. Now, we could go back. We could try to raid at least a couple of those lockers just with the dragon thing. Wait, is it? And we got ourselves... Okay, a dragon thing box. All right, that is extremely lucky. I don't think I've ever been this lucky in my 6,000 hours of Unturned, actually. Right when I need raiding gear, I actually get. Now, hopefully, I don't get killed. All right, I'm back. Let's salvage this. Oh, and they're inside. Okay. And... Oh, my God. I'm out of ammo. All right, he's dead. Okay, that was terrifying, actually. Oh, they almost killed me. It's mad up. Where the hell is the roof? Oh, I think it's damaged. All right, well, we gotta raid these lockers really quickly before they come back. I, they didn't place any beds, thankfully. Unless they place somewhere else. That's kind of close. I gotta be careful. That base wasn't there either. I don't know what the hell is up with that one. All right, this one broke. It looks like a bunch of attachments. This one broke as well. The rock explosives. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's take the other Dragon Fang box out. Yeah, a bunch of rock explosives. We'll take those, to be honest. Uh, more rock explosives, fully decked out heartbreaker, a sword rope, and a bunch of more raw. You know what? I'm not too disappointed with that actually because that raw is really good for charges. It is a satisfaction when we finish raiding this live base. Oh, there's war there's more loot out here. There's wardrobes as well. All right, let's place this over here. Let's just place random junk in there, and then we'll come back for them later. There's a billion grenades. But yeah, as I was saying, it is a satisfaction when we live raided this duo, especially since they were showing that they are a bit of tryhard. Salvaging roof and pressing Q and E all the time. And it wasn't really a struggle at all, it was kind of easy to be honest. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. After that, I did pretty much leave the server, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!